Back in 2021, I was given the opportunity to become an official instructor for the LeetCode platform. Someone from the LeetCode recruiting team reached out, letting me know that they were looking for content creators to create high quality video explanations of different data structures and algorithms. Around this time was when LeetCode was starting to introduce more video explanations on the platform. So, you know, it made a lot of sense that they were looking for video creators at this time. The recruiter told me that my YouTube channel caught their attention and that they would love to set up some time to talk. When I got this email, I was honestly really freaking excited because you know, I use Leak Code almost every day. It's what a large majority of this YouTube channel is about, going over data structures and algorithms. So I was really interested and excited when I heard from them. At this point, I responded back with my availability and sent over my up-to-date resume. And then I ended up talking with someone that managed the Leak Code video content for the platform. The conversation started out discussing what my workflow looks like for creating my videos. So I explained that for each video, I have a script detailing the problem, examples, algorithm walkthrough, code walkthrough, and then I wrap up with the time and space complexity. I ended up talking to this content manager for a little over 30 minutes, and I felt like it was a good conversation. Something you guys may not know is that each algorithm tutorial that I make for this YouTube channel takes me between 15 to 20 hours to complete. The editing process, it, you know, it can be really slow just because I always want to make sure that the videos have really strong explanations. Like my goal when I am releasing a new video on the channel is I want it to be the best explanation out there. Like that's my mindset when I'm putting out a new video. So I explained this to the Leak Code content manager in this interview and you know, he said, okay, this all sounds great. We then started to discuss how much the position would pay and how many videos I would need to churn out each month. And you know, I'm very transparent with all of you guys, so I'm gonna share everything. I was told that each video could pay between $250 and $500. It just depended on you know how difficult the problem was and how long the video was. During this conversation, I started asking him, you know, how much would an easy problem pay, a medium problem, a hard problem, and that's when he gave me this range of between $250 and $500. So you couldn't give me like an exact number, which makes sense because to make, you know, a video on, I don't know, text justification is way harder than doing a video on two sum. So that's why he gave a range. After the talk about money, he also mentioned that all of the videos would be Leak Code's property, which makes sense. If you're paying somebody to make content for you, you can't pawn it off as your own. But something he also said was that I would not be able to make leak code content anymore on my YouTube channel. And you guys already know, at this point, I feel like I knew my decision. You know, I love you guys. I ended up just telling them that I'll let them know. I just needed some time to think about it. After the call, I thought about what it would take for me to say yes, because I really wanted to be a leak code instructor. I feel like, Man, that would, that would be pretty cool. But here was one of the big concerns that I had. Based off of the pay per video, even at the maximum end of $500, if I take 20 hours to make a video, which a lot of the time that is how long it takes me, I would be making $25 an hour, which of course isn't bad, but I already had a full-time job and I was working on the YouTube channel. So I felt like if I were to do it, it would have to be for more money to make it worthwhile because it would mean that not only would I be working more on the side outside of my full-time job, but I would have to take away from posting on my YouTube channel in order to post on the Leak Code site itself. I don't make anywhere near this amount of money on my YouTube videos, just for reference. If I'm lucky, I'll make 50 bucks on a Leak Code video that I post in its lifetime. So when you break down $50 divided by the 20 hours it typically takes me to make the video, I'm only making $2.50 per hour on these YouTube videos that I make. But obviously I make these videos to help you all. So when I thought about it, I knew I would need more money if I were to make videos for Leak Code themselves. Also, I knew that there was no way I would accept the position if I couldn't post on my YouTube channel anymore. That That is just like 
a big no. Like there's no room for negotiation there. And lastly, they told me that I would not even be able to tell you guys on the channel that I'm a Leak Code instructor, which I thought was really stupid. Like I don't even see why that needs to be hidden. Why would I need to be anonymous? But they told me that was one restriction as well. You guys know how transparent I am on this channel. So I felt like this was another big red flag for me because I don't know, I feel like if I'm posting less on the channel, I would wanna tell you guys why. After thinking about all these things, instead of just turning it down right away, I tried to negotiate. So I responded, letting them know that I would love to become a video creator, but only if the following criteria was agreed upon. I said that I would need to be paid a thousand per video. I justified this cost because I do custom animations and when you break down the hourly cost divided by 20 hours, that would be $50 an hour. I wanted to start with one video a month for them and work my way up just because I still wanted to post videos for the YouTube channel as well. I didn't want to take too much time away from YouTube since you know, this is my main goal. And then most importantly, I told them that I have to be able to still post content on YouTube. After sending this email, they ended up sending a response to me that they wanted to talk one more time about the criteria I asked for in Zoom. The Lead Code Content Manager let me know that they would definitely do the $1,000 per fix video and allow me to start with one video a month and work my way up. However, they still required me to not post on YouTube and I would still have to remain anonymous on the platform. After this meeting, they gave me a week to decide and no surprise, I ended up rejecting it. Although I would have been pocketing more money each month, I knew it wasn't worth it because that would mean that I would have to stop posting on this channel. So that's the story. I know it took me a long time to make this video considering it happened over a year ago, but better late than never. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I let you guys go, I wanna let you know that I have my own custom platform for preparing for your technical interviews. So definitely check that out. The link will be in the description. And also I have a public Discord channel. If you're trying to maybe get study partners, definitely go check that out as well. And with that, I'll see you guys later.